Today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how boosters work, the differences between annular and down leg style, and why that design is so important to the combustion and the power capability of your engine. So let's get started. Okay, before we talk about the differences between the down leg and the annular style booster, we need to understand what's going on within these. So let's talk about the whole system. When you talk about a Venturi and a carburetor, okay, I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit, but you're creating a choke point for the air to flow through. And what this does, when the air flows through, you create a drop in pressure, okay? This is a pressure drop down here. What happens is that as the air goes through the Venturi, it speeds up the flow of the air through there based on the pressure drop. It's the cylinder pulling the, the fuel and air mixture through the, through the engine based on the, the piston going down. It creates a drop. What that does is it creates, like I said, a, speed, a, a pressure drop down here, which we technically or industry calls a signal. This signal tells the carburetor circuit, the fuel circuit, how much fuel to feed the carburetor based on the drop of the pressure here. Now, within this system, we place a booster. The booster, very crudely drawn here, the booster creates another small drop And another pressure drop here, so we create another little pressure drop here. The pressure drop here is larger than what it is down here, and it speeds up the airflow again going through the booster. And that signal here that the fuel system sees as it comes up out of the fuel bowl and into here is what creates the fuel and air mixture from the booster, or at least the, the fuel mixture from the booster, going down through the Venturi, through the booster to feed the engine. And this is all super critical in understanding how the booster works and how the booster design is going to best deliver that fuel to the engine, to the intake manifold. Now remember, engines don't burn liquid fuel, they burn fuel vapor. And anything that we can do to help atomize or start that atomization process will assist the engine in being more efficient at creating that vapor when the fuel hits the cylinder and the heat and the pressure take over. So that process is critical and the boosters play a big part of how that fuel is delivered from the fuel circuit of the carburetor into the airflow down into the engine. So that system when it's designed properly and you have the right size carburetor for the application you're working on, makes all the difference in the world. So let's take a look at the two different types of boosters that we're going to test. Now there are two types of boosters, the down leg style and the annular style. The down leg is best described as a, as a garden hose. You turn it on and a lot of fuel goes directly out of the nozzle into the airstream. The annular style is more of a spray, and it is delivered in that pattern into the airstream through the booster. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the two in a very crude little demonstration here. So to show you that, let's move over to the other bench. So I've set up a simple demonstration on how the fuel flows through the booster. Now I'm using water to show the fuel pattern and how it looks as it moves through the booster into the airstream. Now it's a simple setup. I get that with a hand pump and some tubing to kind of simulate what the fuel circuit is within the carburetor. But it's all the it's all the basics are all the same. Now I'll be pushing through, you know, fuel from the backside with a pump, hand pump, instead of the fuel being pulled from the front front side with the pressure drop below the booster. So like in the drawing earlier, you know, this is going to be a little exaggerated in, in how the fuel flows through the booster, but I'll try to keep the pressure low and up on the pump to kind of give you a good idea of what the pattern looks like without, the, the, without any airflow going through the Venturi and through the booster. So of course, when air is added uh, the, and the pressure is created below the Venturi, this is going to look a whole lot different, but it's going to give you a really rough idea of what that fuel looks like as it exits the booster into this into the stream of air so remember the boosters rely on a large volume of air and that 
that low speed or that that pressure drop below it to pull the fuel from the the carburetor the the fuel circuit and in through the booster so you know we're, we're pushing it with a pump so it's going to look a little different but like i said the demonstration will show a very clear distinction in the pattern so first up let's take a look at the down leg style Now all I did was create a very simple little fixture here to hold onto the booster while we push fuel through the system and out the booster. So it's very, very crude, but it's going to give you a good, good visual of how the fuel hits the booster and what it does after it goes from there. And once we pressurize our hand pump and start sending water through the system here, you can see pretty clearly that the down leg is just really that it is that garden hose type effect just dumps fuel very very straight down you can see it from the top down here you can see it from the side angle it's pretty much just a very very focused straight exit of fuel out of the booster and obviously the the you know the image of the booster here will show the bottom side of it and shows that very clearly it's not designed to atomize the fuel at all. All it's designed to do is to introduce the fuel into the airstream so it can go through the process of atomizing, get down through the intake, through the cylinder head, and into the combustion chamber to create the combustion event. So again, it's a very, very crude design. It does work very well. There is no doubt about that, but there's a better way to do it. And let's take a look at the annular side, and I'll show you how that works. And with the annular pressurized and flowing, you can pretty clearly see here, the, the, this annular nozzle from Metal Brock has eight little orifices that the fuel pushes through. And once that hits the uh, airstream that's going through there, uh, it does atomize it much, much quicker, much easier than that single big, heavy, bulky stream that a down leg does. So, you know, clearly the, the, the annular has a lot of really clear benefits to it, you know, does actually when you atomize the fuel that well the cylinder doesn't have to do as much of the work and it really helps with low end power low end torque uh, through mid-range and I, there is some argument to it but I, I don't see how it could be anything but beneficial all the way through high rpm so across the board I think the annular is pretty clearly the better one when you're talking about trying to really atomize the fuel properly. So that's a simple demonstration of the differences between a down leg style booster and an annual annular style booster. You know, anything we can do to help a carburetor deliver fuel more efficiently, better, especially on a street car, it's certainly a, a better piece for you. You know, I'm not so sure that, that the annular style is better on a drag type application because I quite, I think the the volume of air going through and the speed is is big enough that a down leg covers up a lot of the issues with it but certainly on a street car when you're you know operating at uh you know lower rpm and and you know operating more through a, a, a you know 4000 and down type of deal uh i think the annular across the board's always going to be better it just atomizes the fuel much better and hey anything you can do to help a carburetor be more efficient deliver the fuel and the power better, the better off you are. So anyway, if you have any questions about this one, don't hesitate. Please leave them down below. If you got something on the video, thought it was cool, please leave me a thumbs up. I do always appreciate that. And uh, we will catch you guys on the next video. We'll see you.